Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of Breakfast, Breakfast of, of Champions. Champions! Today we're going to try something new and unusual. We are going to try Captain Crunch. Oh, no, 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 not any Captain Crunch. This is Captain Crunch's Chocolate Caramel Crunch Sweetened Corn and Oat Cereal Artificially Flavored. That's sad. So it looks like... Maybe the brown is supposed to be chocolate and the yellow is supposed to be caramel. I'm not sure. The thing that I find disturbing about the box, right here. Chocolatize me, Captain. Ooh, chocolatize me! Um, he's kind of making a face like he's being chocolatized. I, 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 I don't know what that's all about. I don't, chocolatize me, Captain. I, I'm gonna be hearing that in my sleep and I'm gonna be screaming. I'm gonna wake up screaming and sweating. It's, it's just, I don't know, it bothered me. Um, on the other side of the box, it says, welcome to Chocolate Caramelville. That in itself sounds a little bit crazy. It looks like there's a uh, chocolate river uh, and going down the chocolate river is the captain in a canoe. And he's saying, can you help me find my way upstream to Chocolate Caramelville? This is disturbing on all kinds of levels, but we're gonna try it because it's a breakfast cereal and because it's supposed to be artificially flavored chocolate caramel cereal, uh, corn and oat. So let's open that box up and we'll, we'll taste a spoonful of it without milk on it first. Let's get it. Ah, almost has, it has a familiar smell, but it's not, chocolate or caramel. I'm not sure what it is. It has kind of like a candy smell to it. Well, let's try a spoonful of this. Try to get some of both in there. <clears throat> there. So the, the regular, I guess, would you call that yellow pieces? Look like what, what you would call traditional Captain Crunch. You know, the, the broken glass Captain Crunch that tears up the roof of your mouth, that Captain Crunch, as we're about to find out. So let's taste it. Again, I'm going to assume these little brown balls are chocolate. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Seems like, and maybe it's because it's a different type of Cap'n Crunch, seems like they've toned down the barbed wire aspect of it. No, yeah, there's some there's some uh, caramel kind of aftertaste there. Taste a little bit of cocoa powder. I know there's cocoa powder in there. Corn flour, sugar, oat flour, brown sugar, palm and coconut oil, salt, cocoa powder. There we go. Uh, natural and artificial flavor, caramel color, not caramel, caramel color, caramel color, reduced iron, yellow number six, niacinamide, niacinamide. Niacinamide, yellow 5, red 40, corn syrup, BHT, thiam, mine, mono, nitrate, blue, tridoxine, hydrochloride, riboflavin, blue 1, folic acid. So the cocoa powder's there, so they, they do kind of get the chocolatey thing. Um, they had the sugar, which maybe they're counting on for that caramel taste, but caramel is kind of like almost a burnt sugar taste. Not really getting that so much, but here's what we're going to do. Now, we're gonna try it in a bowl of milk. We can try it in a bowl of milk, and all it's gonna do is, to, is give that same flavor, that same milky flavor. So, we're gonna step it up, as only we can do here at Trip and Food. So, in my handy dandy blender, handy. Now, you may or may not recognize this, but this is dulce de leche, which is basically that uh, caramel mixed with milk or cream and thickened up and, and kind of syrupy. So we had this with the obleas that we had with our Colombian food uh, on one of our live streams. Had this left over, why waste it, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this, and we're gonna put that in the blender, like so. That ought to be enough, I think. It's not going like crazy. And then we have our good old American chocolate milk. So let's put our chocolate milk in there. What a mess.
Ooh, that's thick. That is thick. I think that would be enough. Put the lid on and get ready for the loud noise. I don't know, it kind of looks like there's solid bits in there. I don't know how well that blended. There's some of the caramel stuck to the side. I should have heated it up. I think it'll be okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is, let's have a look at that. I can smell both the chocolate and the caramel in here. So we are going to pour it in the bowl first and then put the Captain Crunch on it because we're going to keep it keep crunchy. crunchy. It says shout out to Sam at Cereal File. There we go. And let's put some of this in the bowl. Okay, chocolatize me, Captain. Here we go. Let's get a little bit of that. Because, I mean, you know, honestly, we don't want to just skim the cereal off the top with none of the caramel chocolate milk on it, right? Alrighty, let's give this a shot. A hundred percent improvement. I'm not a big fan of caramel either. Yep, that's gonna be really good. So, I think this is limited time only. It doesn't say, but I think it's limited time only. So if you get a chance and you wanna get out and try this, do this, but I would go this method. You should be able to find dulce de leche, I would think, in uh, like a Latin American grocery. Should be able to find that. If not, maybe like a caramel sauce that you can mix with some chocolate milk, you know, like in the same in that same aisle where you would find your toppings for ice cream and stuff. You should be able to find that. But give that a try. Do that with that. And it makes for a, kind of a tasty, if not really, really sweet breakfast. Well, gotta give that a thumbs up. I'm gonna give the regular cereal by itself a thumbs in the middle. Um, I just, you know, they should have used natural flavors and stepped it up. I mean, what's so hard about adding a, sh a sugar, the flavor of burnt sugar to something that you're gonna put sugar in, right? That, anyways, that's my take on it. But anyways, um, see if you can still get out and get this, but if you do go, please be careful because it's crazy out there. So take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the trippy food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.